fillets of a priestess, wailing like the mad woman, waiting for a nation to tip its ear to me. Blessed by Apollo, he could not rescind this wild gift, and so he spat in my mouth when I turned away from him. There began my descent. I am only a thin woman with a nightmare in my head and a choir of doom in my ears and visions. Visions. My black eyes see too far, this mouth so far from mute, my faint breaths are poisoned by storms, too rough for this world's magic. I am all about destiny. I am all about fate. I am all about your future, and yet you turn away from me. In this cracked and tragic land, everywhere I stand is a sacred place, and shadowed. Such terrible pictures play on the backs of my eyes. Do not turn away from me. You call in prophets and marvel in their little news while I am underground, and no audience stands or sits to hear me, and so I wrap the night around my shoulders. In my dreams, you are all busy dying. You are so pale when you die. Let me save you. My loves, you are all so devastating to look upon when I trawl your eyes and see your graves. I hear your little spines about to crack and know no Trojan hero shall live. It is so quiet in here. I can hear the blood of Troy, which will flood the streets. Swimming in such a deep sea, I look up from the cellar to see a starless room and know with an awful knowing of what will, what must come. I hear bells and horses, waves and wars. I see floors of blood and do not sleep. Your deaths are swimming over and over in the oceans of my mouth. Do not disappear me. There is no glory. No time for me to rise up in robes and call for you people, you sad and doomed people, to behold. Troy, how do you sleep? Clytemnestra, before you raise your hand to me, don't you wish to know how you will fall and who will take you?